Let's talk about complementary and supplementary angles. And I want to make one little point right here that this is complementary with an E. It completes things. It's not complementary with an I. It's not telling you how beautiful you are. So complementary and supplementary angles. So let's take a look at complementary first. And complementary, I'm going to write with this really funny looking C. So I've got this, and I'm going to put a little bright angle mark in there. That's my funny looking C. So complementary angles. It's two angles that add to 90 degrees. Now, you will notice that I wrote the word complementary with that really funny C that has a 90 degree angle. So when you see the C in complementary, you should think, oh, 90 degrees. That's what they add up to. Now, supplementary angles, we're gonna write with this really weird S that has two 90 degree angles. And some of you might have already figured out that supplementary angles are two angles that add to, well, how many degrees do we have in our S? We have 180 degrees. So we have two 90 degree angles in our S, and so that makes it 180 degrees. So it's kind of a little trick to help you remember. Complementary angles are two angles that add to 90 degrees, and supplementary angles are two angles that add to 180 degrees. And just so you know, I do know that it's the measures that add to, to 180, or the measures add to 90. It's just kind of easier to say two angles that add to 90, or two angles that add to 180. So, let's take a look at some examples. But really, that is the entire lesson, is knowing that two angles that add up to 90 are called complementary, and two angles that add up to 180 are called supplementary. So let's take a look at some examples. So for example, if I have these two angles, those would be supplementary because they add up to 180. Now that's really easy. They don't have to be the same angle. So I could have 130 degrees. And how much more would I need to make a supplementary? Well, we would know that 130 plus 50 degrees makes them supplementary because they add up to 180. And if they are complementary, we get the same type of thing. We get, let's say, 40 degrees here. What do I need to be over here? Well, I would need 50 degrees if I wanted them to be complementary. And so they add up to 90 degrees. So, pretty straightforward. Let's take a look at doing algebra. Yes, algebra with these angles. So let's take a look. If I know that these two angles are supplementary, and I know that because this angle is 180, so I know these two angles are going to be supplementary, and I know that this 2x plus 30, and this is, say, x plus 10, then I know that those together add up to be 180. And that's that's really the way I want you to think about it, is those add up to be 180. Well, then to solve this, all we need to do is add them up and say that they add up to equal 180. And then we just solve this. We combine like terms. We get 3x plus 40 equals 180. And then subtract 40 from both sides we get 3x equals 140, and then x equals 140 over 3. And that's it.
that is it. Now you might want to put that into a decimal or a mixed number, but improper fraction right now, unless we know what we're going to do with it, let's just leave it as improper fraction. So we knew they added up to 180. So we wrote our equation saying that they add up to 180 and then we just solved it. So let's take a look. It really, it really, really, really is that simple. And so if I have these two angles, I missed. So let's say this is 5x minus 20, and this is 2x plus 40. Well, what do I know? First thing before I write anything down, I say, what do I know? And I know that those add up to 90 degrees because they're complementary. So we get 5x minus 20 plus the 2x plus 40 add up to equal 90 degrees. Well, that gives me 7x equals 20. I'm sorry, not equals, plus 20. equals 90 and then we subtract 20 from both sides we get 7x equals 70 so x equals 10 so we know x equals 10 now that might be the question is what is x but what if it says what are the two angle measures well that's easy enough to do i take that 10 and i plug it back in there and i get 50 minus 20 right? 50 minus 20, which is 30. And then I get 2 times 10, which is 20, plus 40, which is 60. And we check, do those add up to 90? Yes. Notice I didn't just immediately say, oh, it's 60, because it's a nice little check to do that for both of them and see, do they actually add up to 90 degrees? So even if it asks me just what X is, it's kind of a nice little check to go ahead and plug it back in and see if it makes it true. So that is complementary and supplementary. And we, to solve algebra problems with them, we just write down what we know. We remember that complementary means they add up to 90 degrees, like we did in this example, and we wrote that down to solve it. The first angle plus the second angle add up to equal 90 degrees, and then we solved it. And then if they're supplementary, we know that the first angle plus the second angle add up to equal 180, and then we solve it. Thank you.